Hi Capricorn, uh, this is your Beware reading for this uh, month. Uh, we'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at uh, what you should be aware of right now, then the, the second spread will be the advice for that situation, and uh, spread number three will be the next uh, good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's what you should be aware of uh, Capricorn right now. We have uh, the Queen of Swords, clarified by the High Priestess. We have the Five of Wands, clarified by the Five of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. And we also have the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. So here's the deal. You're dealing or about to be dealing with this Queen of Swords. For most of you, this is somebody who is already in your life. This person wants to start a fight with you. But um, they are being very, very sneaky about it. What I mean by that, they want to trick you. They want to lure you, drag you into this fight so you look bad or so you lose. It's like this person has some kind of an ulterior motive. It could be some kind of a revenge. You know, this person is like, it's, it almost feels like a stab in the back. Okay, I don't know how you are associated with this person. It could be a friend, could be somebody you work with, could be a neighbor, but it's like it's a trap. They're they're luring you into a trap. That's how it feels. All right, uh, the Queen of Swords, the first card I came out. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart, or they're embracing the energy of this Queen of Swords. They know what they're doing. The High Priestess clarifying them is a card of a secret. Right? So they've got a plan, they've got a strategy, they are planning it, they are, they've, they've came up with the strategy. They're not telling you the whole truth or they set the trap for you. Right? Here comes the uh, Five of Wands clarified by the Five of Swords. It's, it's like some kind of a major fight. Major fight. Either between you and this person or they're going to uh, drag you into some kind of a confrontation with another company, with another person, with other people. And as a result of that, you'll be the person in the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Right? The Nine of Swords, this is you telling yourself, oh my God, what have I done? How did I not see this coming? The Seven of Swords clarifying and it's a card of a deception. Okay? And uh, you will be defeated. You will feel like, yeah, you lost. They tricked you. All right, the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wounded warrior. Okay, so beware of this queen of swords. I don't know who this person is to you, but that's they're planning some kind of an ambush or trap. All right, um, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. So here's the advice for you, Capricorn. We have uh, the ten of swords, uh, then we have the nine of pentacles, clarified by the queen of pentacles. We have uh, the chariot, clarified by the six of wands, and we have the two of swords on the bottom of the deck. The advice for you is to not get involved. Don't get triggered. That's what I keep hearing. They will do something sneaky, so you get triggered. So you want to fight for this, or you want to fight them, or you want to fight someone. Don't get triggered. Don't get involved. Remain calm. <laughs> All right? Uh, yeah, the Ten of Swords, the first card that came out is a card of an ending, but it's a card of an abrupt thing. So this is you perhaps shutting it down. Right? Shutting it down, not even, not even, not getting involved. The Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, that's you, right? You're the Queen of Pentacles, and uh, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is just, uh, you know, somebody who is chilling, somebody who is doing good, somebody who is self-sufficient, independent. Again, I keep hearing, don't get involved. Just uh, stay where you are. <laughs> you got everything going for you right now. The Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck, uh, this is... A card of somebody who is at the crossroads, but at the same time it's a card of somebody who says no. Somebody who is closed off. Somebody who is not getting involved, right? The person in the Nine of Pentacles, by the way, they're minding their own business. They're taking care of their own stuff. And uh, the Chariot, clarified by the Six of Wands right next to the deck. Yeah, it's a, both of them are victory cards. There are two victory cards in the Tarot deck and both of them are here. Those are the two victory cards. So I think you kind of... Uh, not getting involved, that, that would be the answer. That would be the advice for you. Okay, I hope this makes sense. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous for some of you, but yeah, I think this Queen of Swords was signed the first, but they're up to no good. They're like planning this. They're planning this. All right, so um, let's move on. Spread number three is the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. 
Here's the next good thing that will happen to you, Capricorn, that will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Cups. Then we have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Fool. And we also have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or, or Pisces. We also have Earth, Taurus, uh, Virgo, or another Capricorn. And we have uh, Aquarius and uh, Aries on the table. So you got this King of Cups coming your way. This spread could be about work, business, finances, or love, or both. Okay, perhaps somebody will help you out financially or they will help you get a job or get a loan or something like that. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you'll go for a cup of coffee and uh, you'll be talking, not, you're not going to be talking business or work or money anymore. Okay, so yeah. The, uh, let's let's talk about this real quick. We have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Wands. It could be your energy right there, especially if you're struggling financially right now, or if you're sad and lonely by yourself, feeling left out in the cold, or both, right? And uh, the Ten of Wands clarifying that is a card of a burden. It's a card of a struggle. And I think, again, that's you, struggling financially, or you're unemployed, or you're lonely, and things like that. And uh, here comes uh, the King of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The thing about those two cards, they could be about love and money uh, or both, right? The Knight of Pentacles is the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights, but at the same time, it's the most stable, the most long-term oriented knight out of all four knights as well. The King of Cups clarifying it is the actual person. Right, so it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart, and they're coming to your way with that Knight of Pentacles. Right, stability and uh, longevity, or both. The star on the bottom of the deck uh, could be a card of healing, right, and at the same time, it's a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for, hope for, for a very long time. At the end, we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Fool. I think that's where you come in for sure. That's your energy. The Nine of Cups is the second Wish Come True card. Right? So, yeah, we have two Wish Come True cards in the Tarot deck. You got both of them here. And uh, the Nine of Cups is also a card of a... Uh, um, personal satisfaction and fulfillment, the full clarifying that. It could be a card of liberation, right? From whatever that Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, the first two cards on the left represent to you, this is you liberating yourself from that with the, with the King of Cups, uh, with their help, right? Or it's also a card of jumping in, okay? Jumping into a commitment, a relationship, jumping into something. Right? If, uh, if they're going to help you out financially, if they're going to find you a job, you will feel relieved. Right? Or if they offer you a serious relationship, then you'll feel like, yay! <laughs> Some, finally, someone serious. Right? Someone, somebody who is not just talking the talk, but the, also walking the walk. Alright? So let me know in the comments down below how this plays out. Because it could be either, like I said, work or love, or both. That happens more often than you think when people help other people financially or find a job and then, uh, you know, sparks fly. And uh, they get involved on the, uh, on the love uh, perspective. All right, uh, Capricorn, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing the rest of January.